Before you start editing your site with bricks, there's an important piece of functionality that I would like to talk about in this video, which is part one, how you can load your WordPress generated content into bricks. And in part two, how we can store our bricks content as WordPress content. So I just want to give you a real world example. So I'm in my, under my pages here. And you can see I've got a few pages that I already edited with Bricks. And this one, for example, is not edited with Bricks. It's generated with um, Gutenberg. Or you can also use the classic editor. In my case, it's Gutenberg. And you can see I've got a heading here. I've got a paragraph and this image. So if I would like to take over editing with Bricks and I click here, you will see it's going to load up the builder and it's going to show us an empty canvas. This is because by default, your WordPress generated content will not be loaded into Bricks. You always will start out with a clean and empty blank canvas. But if you would like to use your existing WordPress data and just basically customize it within Bricks, then what you can do, you can go to Bricks settings and then you scroll down and you have this option here, which is the convert WordPress content to a Bricks content setting. So it's set also a short explanation here. It runs when the builder is loaded on pages without any Bricks data. So we're going to save this. And if we head back to our pages and we edit this page with Bricks, you will see that Bricks automatically converts all your Gutenberg content which was the heading, the paragraph, in that case, the WordPress, uh, sorry, the Bricks element text and the image. Now, this is also, this is all in Bricks and we can start editing it from here. Now, if I would save this one, let's just change the image. So I change this image, I will save it. If I go back now to WordPress, you can see we still have our Gutenberg content here. So the editing that we've done with Bricks doesn't affect our WordPress content. But if you would like to automatically also store your Bricks generated data as WordPress data, what you can do, you can enable the setting at the very bottom, which is the convert Bricks content to WordPress content. And in that case, if we go back to this page, you also see now this is a Bricks page because last time I saved this page, I edited it with Bricks. That's why now on the front end, it's gonna use the Bricks data. So I'm gonna edit this with Bricks and we see we have a different image here. We can just also rename this and just say edit it with Bricks. Now if I save it this time and I go back to WordPress, you can see that it automatically converted our Bricks generated data into Gutenberg blocks. So I've got my heading here, I've got my paragraph here, and I've got my image here. Now, if you would customize this, and we're just gonna add some dots here, and we save it now, and load up Bricks, you will see that this doesn't affect Bricks because we already have some existing Bricks content. Now we don't want this content to be overridden by Gutenberg anymore. But if you're on an, if you haven't created any Bricks content on this page and you would edit it with Bricks, it's gonna automatically pick up this content. And that's basically it. See you in the next one.